I'm here with head coach Kevin Gilmartin. Kevin, Saturday will be the fifth time in Seahawk, the Seahawks will play in an ECAC bowl game. What does it mean for the team to get a postseason opportunity? Uh, it's a great honor. I mean, when you look at it, um, you know, a committee sat down and they said to themselves, who are the six best teams in the Northeast? You know, if you put in one of those, if you put in that category, that's, that's something to be proud of. I mean, you look at teams in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine. I mean, all those schools that they had an opportunity and they picked us. And so it's definitely definitely a thrill. And at the same time, you look at it all across the country. I mean, teams are handing in their uniforms right now and they're not allowed to pick it up until, uh, you know, mid-August. Um, you know, and we're still playing and that's something to be proud of. And at the same time, I mean, football is a different beast than, you know, every other sport and activity in the world where you can only do it, you know, when you have a full team going against another full team with refs, equipment, and everything like that. It's not like basketball where you can go out there and just play pickup basketball at any point in time. You can only do it when you have a team and who's going to play a game. So we get to play another game, and we're ha real happy about that. Every opportunity we get a chance to play, let's go. As a first-year head coach, you led this team to a pretty impressive season. How do you prepare the team for the ball game and their final game of the year? It's a, it's a regular game, you know I mean? You know, going into this game, just like all the other games, we got to get prepared the best we can. You know, um, how are we going to do it? How are we going to get after it? You know, we're going to do it the same way we've been doing it every week. You know, it's a bowl game, yes, and it's exciting about that, but it's just another football game for us to go out and play. How important is it for the team to get a chance to play at home on Saturday? Uh, that's that's a great thing. I mean, like we said, talk about uh, they picked six teams from the Northeast to play, and on top of it, we get the home game on top. You know, is great. It's fun to go to other schools and see, you know, other campuses and, and their stadiums and everything. But to be able to play at home on, a, you know, with our crowd on our island, you know, is always a little more fun, a little more exciting. How do you feel the Seahawks match up against Western Connecticut? Oh, they're a very good team. They're seven and two right now, and, uh, and they are very excited to be coming coming here to Rhode Island. Uh, they're running back uh, Octavius McCoy. Uh, I think he put up uh, 450 plus yards in one game. Uh, he's averaging 190 yards a game. Uh, they are a very good team, and uh, you know our defense is you know still very good. You know, and so hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to have a very good matchup against that. And then you know our offense versus their defense. We'll see how it goes. Next season, the team returns 18 of its regular 22 starters. Can the Seahawks fans look forward to another exciting year yeah, in 2014? Let's, let's finish out this one before we jump jump into the next one. But uh, yeah, I, I would I would hope so. I mean, you know, like all a lot of players have learned. You said 18 of the 22, but at the same time, I mean, there's been other guys that have played, you know, in and out throughout this season. So we should we should expect a definite improvement, you know, as we continue to go. The seniors that were that were losing though, they will be sorely missed. That's for sure. Well, coach, good luck on Saturday. All right, thank you very much. I'm here with Robert Klein and Dan Parks. Guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, both of you are in your final season here at Southern Regina. Uh, what does Saturday mean for you guys and for the senior class? Um, I think it means a lot for us and all the seniors. Um, obviously, Saturday was very exciting and uh, no opportunity to win a bowl game and, and a season high note. It was really rewarding and we're looking forward to it. Uh, you both come from out of state. What brought you guys to Southern? Um, it was definitely a little bit of an adjustment to come from the best state in the country, New York. But um, really the atmosphere uh, in the whole campus and even the character of the guys on the team is what really uh, drove me here. Um, and I think this program has continued to go in that direction where the character of this team will continue to draw the future athletes in the program. Uh, this will be your second bowl game as a Seahawk. What did it like playing in postseason and being to host the game and play home on Saturday? Um, like I said before, it means a lot. Um, over the past like three or four seasons, the program and team has really grown a lot and got better and better each year. And, uh, you know, a chance to play is just awesome. Uh, as seniors, what is one thing that you guys want to leave with the team as for next year? Um, when we came in as freshmen, uh, this program was not quite where it is today. It was a little, uh, I guess, mediocre. And the programs continue to grow each and every year. And uh, we're at the point now where just reaching a conference championship is not is no longer acceptable. Um, we need to win that ch championship. And uh, I just uh, want to leave them with, um, make sure they get that done and uh, use this feeling of emptiness that we had this past weekend to be their motivating force throughout the entire season next year. Very good. Well, guys, thank you very much for coming up. And good luck on Saturday. Thank, thank you. you.